Urban Lime is a urban regeneration specialist, experience that it's got over the last 35 years from East End of London, then Brighton, then in Cape Town, and brought it all together to basically lend a helping hand to what Durban deserves. What we find that Durban is so unique in is that when the corporates moved out of the CBD in Durban and moved up north to Belito and, and where have you, actually the locals moved back in. So Durban has always been extremely busy and in fact ever, ever since we arrived the city centre is packed. So there's a lot of, lot of thriving businesses going on but ultimately for the CBD to, to come back to where it needs to be the corporates need to start moving back in. We don't so much look at the architecture itself but we like to work with iconic buildings. We've been able to obviously come in and we use our experience in adding a modern twist to it so it appeals to modern living. So if I give you an example of 320, which is probably one of your most iconic buildings, we invest in those buildings, we refurb them and generally bring them to sort of modern day living. For example, in 320, we refurb the space into much smaller areas and be able to have affordable for SMEs, call centres and colleges alike. Next to it is Pioneer Place, uh, which is a building full of fashion, young designers, uh, where if you're looking for a wedding dress or a bespoke suit, you'll walk nine or ten floors of that building and find the designer that, that you're looking for. It's a long-term goal. This isn't going to happen overnight. And so because of that, we've actually invested a lot in creating bridges just outside of the CBD because people to come, the other corporates I talked about earlier and trying to come back into the CBD, they'll trust it by coming to the outside first and then they'll work their way back in. So we've invested heavily on Florida Road, that's a bridge. The beach is another bridge, that's, so those two sort of bridges is where the people from up north feel comfortable coming close to the city. And, sh and slowly by slowly, these bridges will come closer and closer and hopefully by 2030, well I'm, talking, I'm hoping by 2020, uh, the CBD will be, a, will be a thriving space. Middle of 2015 when I first arrived in Durban and uh, being quite excited about the buzz that there was in the street. Everybody was on a mission, everyone has a purpose and I've literally seen the city grow. Every day I've seen the city being involved in a very positive fashion. Well, the four nodes that we've got at the moment, there's two in the CBD, one slightly outside and one on Florida Road. Node number three is Rivertown. Uh, so we basically own everything between Ambassador House and Convention House uh, alongside ICC. It's the main arterial road into town and it's the main arterial road out of town the other side. That is perfect for your showroomy retailers so where, the, where people can sort of, sort of see what's, what's going on. So your car dealers, your big lighting houses, and so, and, and, and so forth. Node number four is Florida Road. And as I say, we invested heavily in Florida Road because we see that as a key, as a bridge of ultimately getting people back into town. So Florida Road, is basically caters for food and beverage uh, at, of a high level uh, and also all the creatives uh, are housed in, um, on Florida Road. So I'm proud to say that for Urban Lime, if there's one tenant, we'll be able to fit them in one of our four nodes quite easily. And Beach is another bridge where it's very multicultural, where the north and south can all meet. Since the promenade has been expanded, I think it's just gone to another level. Well, I'm hoping that, and it's what's happening already, is there's lots of urban lines. Somebody working on residential, lots working on retail, and everybody working together. But again, private enterprises can't do it by themselves either. They need the input of the city, and that's where Invest Durban comes in. And our relationship with Invest Durban 
is fantastic. And if that gets stronger and you get more investment, so I'm quite excited about what, what the future holds. It's a beautiful city, unbelievable port, got great people. Uh, I, I don't see any, any reason why it's not going to be successful way before 2030.